Hi, this is Nick from Snappa, and today I'm back with another episode showing you how you can turn sayings and quotes into graphics for your social media marketing. So once you have your canvas open, the first thing you want to do is choose a background. So I'll navigate to the backgrounds tab in the top left here. I'll go to a colored background, and I'll choose a background color of choice. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is add some more elements to my background. So I'll navigate to the shapes tab in the top left here. I'll click on the rectangle. Once it's on the canvas, I'm going to click on it and then resize it so it spans across the entire graphic. Once I have the right position, I'm going to click on the shape again, and I'm going to decrease the opacity of the shape from 100 to 10. So I want one more rectangle in between these two, so I'm going to click on this one here, and then duplicate the layer. From here, I can also resize the rectangle so that it fits in between the two. So now that I have my background, I can begin to add my saying or quote into the graphic. So I'm going to navigate to the text tab in the top left here. I'm going to click add a heading. From here, I'm going to type in the quote that I want. I'm going to left align it. I'm going to lower the font size to about 46. And then from here, I can also change the font style to the font style of choice. Once I have that, I can also resize the box and then reposition it to where I want it to be. So now the next thing I want to do is add the author of the quote. So I'm going to navigate to the text tab once again. I'll click add a heading. From here, I'll type in the author. And then I can resize the font to the font size of choice, change the font style. Once I have that, I'm going to left align it again. And then I'm going to move it down to go under the quote here while resizing the text box. Now I want the text to stand out a bit more, so instead of having black on green, I'm going to click on the font and change the font color to white. So I'm basically done the graphic, but I'm going to make some minor adjustments to make the graphic perfect. So I'll first start by holding shift and clicking on both the author and the quote. From here I'm going to center it a bit more. Once it's in the right position, I'm also going to darken the background here. So instead of having the opacity at 10, I'm going to have the opacity at around 15. So this is just one way you can turn a basic saying or quote into a social media graphic. What you can alternatively do is delete the elements, change the background from a colored background to an image background, where you can select from a variety of stock images. So for here, for example, I'm going to click business and choose a more business type photo. Once I have that, I'm going to have it in the background of the quote, and then to have this text stand out, I can go in the effects tab and mess with the blur, darken the image a bit, and apply different effects so that I have a professional quote that stands out. So that's it for today's episode of the Snappa Design Tutorial. If you're looking to create graphics within less than 5 minutes, head over to snappa.com today. And as per usual, if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below.